Hello everyone and welcome back to Priest Brothers Lines. This is just going to be a quick little video of a scratch build that I made. So this is a refueling center tower that I scratch built using very cheap materials. So I'm going to just show you what I did and uh, that'll be about it. It should be pretty quick. So like with the grain elevator that I built, I saw some of these fuel towers that people are selling online for decent prices, but I thought, you know what, I could probably build that myself with some very inexpensive materials that I already have. And so I did, and I think it turned out pretty well. So I'll just kind of break down what this is. So this is meant to be a refueling area that would be along the the deep or where the depot is. So that would be by the water tower, the sanding tower, and that's where I plan on putting it next to. So um, the, uh, <laughs> the tank itself is a soda can. You can see it now that you know, and maybe even before, but it's just a soda can that I painted black. I got put some legs on there, there's four legs. Those are wood, just strips of wood. Uh, I built this little ladder here. This again is just strips of wood. I painted it yellow for safety reasons. Uh, this is just a piece of square styrene on top, uh, about a millimeter thick, I think. And then again, the railing, just like I did on the elevator, the crane elevator. It's just strip, strips of wood that I glued together, painted. And then on top there, that's meant to be where you would refill it from the top. That, so, it, it's an interesting hobby. Because you just kind of keep a bunch of junk that you have, and maybe you'll use it someday, maybe you won't. So this was from a... Uh, it, it was from uh, metal shelves that I bought, and these were meant to go on the legs if you wanted to extend it longer, but I didn't, so I, ha I have a drawer full of these, and so I was looking like, hey, that might look like a valve of some sorts. I might, I might add maybe a little, a little like grab iron on there just to make it look like you would, you would pull it from there. But you know, I think it looks decent. It gets the point across, and it's just, just using stuff that you have. It's just using junk and trash that you say, like I might be able to use that someday. The last thing to show here is just the hose. This would be where you would refuel. So this is just a rubber tube that I bought and I put a little styrene on the end there, glued it to the styrene so it looks like it's coming right out of there. And then it just goes down here. I made a little hook down here for it to hook around when it's not in use. And then when it is in use, just pull it out and don't okay. It'll be glued down. So don't don't tip over, please. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, know, you want to refuel it. Pretend like you're refueling it. It's it's very wobbly, as you can see, because it is made of very lightweight materials. Um, but once it's glued down, it shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, that is a little fuel repair, uh, fuel refueling area that I built out of very simple materials. No more than five dollars, I would say, spent on this. So, and it looks pretty decent. I mean, if I didn't tell you it was a soda can, maybe you wouldn't know, maybe you would. Uh, the only th I'm going to add a few more things that I haven't done yet. I'm going to add um, some signs on the side, so I'll add a, a Southern Pacific sign on the side, and also some, like, danger signs, flammable liquid signs, things like that. Uh, like, that's, that'll probably be just a few signs like that, just to give it a little flair. Uh, it's probably a little too bright. Maybe that yellow is too bright. Maybe I should brush that down. Again, I'm not too into weathering buildings, at least not yet. But even I'm like, eh, it's a little too bright. Uh, so I might try to dull it down, just get do some dry brush on it. Well, yeah, I thought it stood out pretty nicely. So that is, that is that right there. So the idea is to have it right about here. So the engine would come out of there. Maybe be able to refuel. Uh, just because the way my layout is, I didn't have a, a single area to have a kind of maintenance refuel area. So I'll just kind of cheat a little bit and say that the engines would have to go onto this line and then back up over here if they happen to come from either of those two stalls. It's fine. So I'll have the refuel area. As I am modeling Southern Pacific, all of the engines run on oil. So this is purely a oil refueling area. There's no coal on this layout. Uh, and so then I'll have a water tower right about there. I plan on having a little sand tower right there. And then some kind of uh, switch tower right about there. So that is all. Just a little quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Priest Brothers Lines signing off.